Uh, as much as I thought the other one, if we won it, should it would have been unfair. Um, I think we did, we deserved this one, especially when you when you have a look at the penalty count and stuff. It was 15-6 or something. So three. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Well, I thought we could. We could have won it. We could have won it. We're really happy about the whole tour, and I'm really proud. Proud of the guys. Couldn't be. Couldn't. Couldn't be prouder. Um, but today, I thought. Yeah. I thought we deserved the win. Mario, just on, on, the, on the entire tour, we played four, only lost one. Coronavirus. You had the incident during the week. Can you just explain how difficult this tour has been? Or? Look, from 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 the beginning, we said uh, we we didn't we didn't we didn't want to make any excuses for starters, and we didn't. Uh, we, we weren't looking for for excuses in any of the games, but um, this week this week has been hard. All the other stuff, all, all the, the the preparation was all the build up and stuff. Happy days. This week has been really, really tough, especially on some of the boys. And uh, it was a really difficult week to prepare. And um, but these guys, they they don't stop surprising us. Like uh, they never put their head down. They're never complaining. They're not whinging. They're always really positive. They love each other. Uh, they they demand the same commit the same commitment they put on from the next guy too. So it's been an incredible journey the whole year, the whole year, and uh, they've been preparing for this. Uh, they've been preparing for a for a tough week as uh, we had as we had this week. Uh, adversity was was present from March on, and then Hawaii's were gone, and then uh, economic crisis in Argentina and the Federation, and then the only possibility of coming over here was. Uh, through quarantine in Uruguay and then quarantine over here and no like, very few friendly games and then getting together with your, the, the Europeans and stuff. Um, but I never heard anybody whinging. I never heard anybody complaining. It was all positive attitude and getting together and feeding, feeding of, of the, others, the others' energy. Um, uh, it's been an incredible journey. I'm, I'm super proud and happy for the boys especially. Um, I'm really grateful for for the the staff and the, the the effort they put on on the on the the boys. Obviously, the 23 that played it week in week out. But oh, I almost I almost like to say more grateful for the ones that didn't play at all, because they were working as much or more than the other guys. Where does this leave you for next year? It's obviously a very good springboard, but then you're facing a season with no Super Rugby. This, at this point, who cares? Like we, we're gonna enjoy each other's company. Uh, we've been through a lot this year, and we deserve um, a little bit of rest, a couple of beers, and then take the plane and go to the family that, that we're missing a lot, and they're missing us. Just how difficult was this week the preparation leading up to it? Could you just give us some insight? You said on Thursday that. Yeah. Well, you can ask Huli how much did he sleep the whole week. And they were sleeping like two or three hours a night. And I kept receiving messages from players at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. And they were texting each other and calling each other um, about everything that was going on. Uh, so, yeah, sleepless nights and then rescheduling trainings because we, we still wanted to prepare for this game. So, uh, we, we were supposed to training Tuesday morning. We couldn't. We trained Tuesday afternoon and then rescheduled Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, uh, it was, yeah. But pandemic style, I guess. Just readapting and reinventing yourselves. And But they were incredible. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they don't see, cease to uh, amaze me. Yeah, I was yeah, I was yeah, complaining about other decisions before that one. Hey, have a, and then when when he took the kick, then it's a 50-50 at best. 
Uh, but I guess he had the other one in his head too, the one from the other game. Yeah, I wasn't thinking too much. I was praying for him not to, not to kick it. Anyway. When, when, sorry, when do you move to Charlotte? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Is uh, the entire squad going back to Argentina or the one going to Europe? Are uh, they leaving a little bit later? I think. So the one in Argentina we're leaving tomorrow morning, and then the other, the other ones are, are going to Europe later in the yeah in the evening. I think. Mario, how, how proud are you of the defensive effort this this tournament? Say for 15 minutes against the All Blacks last week, it's, it's been phenomenal. Yeah, and and it wasn't even defence over there. It was lost ball, intercepts, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, no, it's been awesome. And and the boys, they've been working uh, through yeah zooms in, at the beginning of the year and talking about what they want to look like as a team and stuff like that. And uh, the defense was always one of our standards. Like it was always something in our DNA. And uh, when they wanted to judge themselves on how they were performing, they started talking about defense and individual tackles and stuff like that. And uh, I think I think today, uh, throughout the whole competition, we have a world-class defense, definitely. And uh, he, this guy beside me, he's one of the, the guys responsible for that. And Mario, what's your uh, opinion on the, the yellow cards in particular? Uh, the red card was probably pretty clear, but the yellow cards, the breakdown, has, has rugby gone too far? Or are you happy with it? Yeah, well, I'd leave, I'd leave those ones for the refs. I thought, yeah, I thought the, the, the red card was definitely a red card. But uh, the other two, I know, I don't know. But I, I don't think they were yeah, they weren't very similar. Although they said it's kind of the same thing. The refs were talking between each other. I didn't think it was the same thing. What do you guys think? What do you think? Uh, I think by the letter of the law, they're the yellow cards. What do you think is the same? Was the same situation between one and the other? Like hitting a, a shoulder and then going up? Do you think it was the same? Do you think that the the, 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 sec, the second yeah, yellow card techniques? No, did he hit the head first or the shoulder first? The yeah. second one. That that Puka also the, he used his arm. No, 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 no. But it's, that's a different situation. He he hit the head, and the and the TMO said he hit the head. Are you suggesting it was a red card? Well, I don't know. It's up to them. I'm just saying that contact to the head. He wasn't contact to the shoulder and going up. But um, I, I said it from the start, even before we started playing that, he, he was great with us, and the boys love him. And uh, what's, not, what's not to love from Czech? I mean, he's, he's a great guy. He's a great guy, great coach, great energy. And um, I wanted to work again with Czech, so it was selfish for me. We started talking in February, March, and I started suggesting that I, we could work together again. And uh, I did everything to get him on board uh, because I knew it would have been, it would be great for me and the players, the coaches. He, he's been working individually with players, individually with coaches. The other day he was meeting SNC, sharing knowledge and stuff. Um, and, that, and, that, and that's a way, I think. That's a way. Knowledge doesn't have a. Nobody owns knowledge, so you you, you have to share it. You need to share it. Was he doing much? He was doing everything. He, yeah, everything. Like a little bit of everything, like we all do. We we share the, the workload. At the end of the day, he must have been the, the happiest man of all. He no, the boys are happier than me. Because boys Australia are. Didn't, lose, didn't lose, Argentina didn't. So ah, you didn't mean? Lose either. So Michael must Ah, be Michael, you mean not me? Ah. <laughs> I don't know, you need to ask him. I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him. A question. Oh, boys. I'm fine like this. En español. Lo que me quedó en el equipo fue la defensa y lo que sentimos uno por el otro. Creo que fue una semana complicada y 
Y como dijo Mario, eh, nos queremos mucho entre todos y sentimos esto como una gran familia y ponernos esta camiseta es lo que más nos gusta y defender los colores. Creo que la defensa hoy fue espectacular, fue un partido muy duro, pero bueno, estuvimos en la lucha a los 80 minutos y creo que nos merecimos ganar el partido. Eh, pero bueno, es rugby también. ¿Y qué balance puede hacer estas cuatro semanas de torneo? Sí, creo que fue un, un balance positivo por lo que fue el grupo, por lo que, por lo que fue la gira porque fue el año, muchos chicos no ven a sus familias desde hace cuatro meses. Eh, fue un año difícil, pero la verdad que cada cosa que pasamos eh, lo volvería a hacer con tal de estar acá de vuelta con, con los chicos. No quiero que termine. Eh, obviamente extraño a mi familia, extraño a mis amigos, a mi novia, a mi club, a todo, pero me encantaría, estar, me encantaría que esto sea para siempre. Y la verdad que lo sentimos así. Y, y nada, no quiero que termine. Mira, el, el balance yo iría un poquito más lejos que lo de lo de Juli. Venir acá y perder un solo partido en las condiciones en las que jugamos, en las que nos preparamos, eh, con los otros equipos descansando entre semanas y demás. Eh, y después todo el trabajo que se hizo a partir de, de, de principio de año con los chicos, se quisieron los chicos en realidad. Eh, y todo el crecimiento, el aprendizaje, cuando era muy difícil aprender o, o crecer porque estábamos lejos unos de otros. Y después, a partir de que nos juntamos, el otro día yo hablaba con, con un amigo mío y les decía que, que nada, nosotros les hacíamos pasar la pelota sin pelota. Y todos la pasaban a la pelota. No, no hubo nadie que, que se quejaba, eh, que decía, mirá la pavada que estamos haciendo. Y ya cuando ves el compromiso y, y la seriedad y lo que le meten a eso, sabíamos que, que más allá de los resultados esta gira iba a ser buena. Y creo que fue... Buena en todo sentido, buenísima en cuanto a la unión del grupo, el compromiso del grupo, la confianza y, y en resultados me parece que es la mejor que hicimos en el hemisferio sur, sin lugar a dudas. No, no todos of them. We have at least 10 guys who have no contract, they're amateurs. How many of them will have to follow future in Europe? Because Well, we, yeah, uh, I guess a lot of them, but uh, just to, uh, for you to understand the whole situation, not only the, the guys that started in a franchise the, this year who was called, it was called Sabos and they were playing the South American Championship, but then we have other guys, we have, I think it's eight or nine, that they didn't have a contract over here and uh, most, of, most of them didn't play, so they get, they get no money for it. And, uh, and they were the hardest working bunch of players that the, you, you would see. So not all of them are amateurs, and some of them, their contracts are finishing at the end of the year. But that, that was never on the table. That was never um, an obstacle not to commit and engage and uh, work hard. Uh, it's, yeah, if, you knew, if you knew half of what, what, what was going on, Tom knows a little bit, a little bit more because he He robbed it from me, but uh, <laughs> but uh, if you knew half, half of the things we did to get here, and those guys not earning one one peso, it's pretty impressive, pretty impressive. So what's happening with the Jaguars next year? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mario. Thank you.